We've all been through a very tough period of lockdown. It has a tremendous toll on the mental health. So mental health has been a part of the strategy for the medical interventions in this uh, COVID project. COVID is in general considered deadly. There are many people recovering from it, but the general impression in the community is that it is very deadly. So it's very important to support them and also state many examples of recoveries that is happening. The role of the counsellors is to uh, educate the patient about what is COVID, to share their experiences, their feelings and uh, fears and anxieties, and also to educate the family members. And uh, during this counselling process, we have uh, educational interactive sessions with the patients with, through games and uh, video watching. As we are seeing in 27, it is very important. The strongest challenge that we are facing is uh, related to stigma. There is a lot of patients who have already experienced stigma and the family members who are currently experiencing stigma because the patient tested positive. And the counselling process especially involves a lot of uh, eye contact and with the PPE it's kind of a big shield. It's difficult to portray your, and connect with the patients. We use a lot of hand gestures. Uh, we do this when we kind of feel the pain. The other biggest challenge is the misinformation. It's been a kind of reinforcement for many months for them that this is, what, this is how it spreads, this is how it happens, and this is how you can protect yourself. And we are trying our best to kind of change a lot of habits and thoughts.